This AR-15 was only $240 and it's made of a lot of plastic. We're gonna test it today to see how good it is. I just posted a video on the best budget AR-15, which is right here. And a lot of you wanted to see me go cheaper. So I decided to go with the cheapest thing I could build. And that is right here. This total was $240. $240 for this rifle. Obviously that does not count the accessories because the optic, the flashlight, and maybe even the grip are more expensive by themselves than the AR-15 itself. But that is the complete gun. So we're gonna go out to the range and we are gonna put it through its paces and see is a $240 gun an actual decent option that you can go with. So the craziest thing about this gun is the lower. This is a complete lower and it was only $60. But what's wild about it is it's all polymer. Everything about this lower is polymer. Your takedown pins are polymer. Your buffer tube is polymer. Your trigger assembly is all polymer. Like not just the trigger, but all the components inside the trigger are all polymer, which makes me slightly uncomfortable to go out and shoot this uh, because I think it's probably gonna blow up in my face. But uh, we're gonna go out, we're gonna test it out, we're gonna see what happens. So first let's just go to the range and do some shooting. And then after the shooting, we'll come back. I'll break down what the parts are, how much I spent on each one. And uh, we'll go over our thoughts on what we think after the testing. I wanna thank the sponsors of today's video, Brownells. They are a fantastic company and supported me a ton. And honestly, I would not be able to do a lot of this without them. You can use code TA10 to save 10% off orders $150 or more. And I highly recommend you take advantage of that because you can use that as much as you want, it's limitless. Uh, so go in there, save a bunch of money and start on some cool builds and projects and finish some or start some new ones. But a huge thank you to Brown Owls. Go show them some love and let's get right into the video. All right, first rounds to the extreme budget AR-15. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, but we're gonna use some caution with this one. We're gonna throw these gloves on just in case it wants to uh, be a little silly. Well, that's a good sign. Let's see if it actually shoots. <laughs> It didn't blow up, so. All right, cool. I feel comfortable enough to put it on my shoulder now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna fault the malfunction. Well, let's see what the malfunction was. We're not gonna fault that one because I wasn't even holding the gun. So, all right, just in a cycle. It is breaking in a little bit, so that is good. Just something so fun about putting your cheek against all plastic that's containing an explosion. All right. We got locked back too. We'll do another mag of good ammo. We'll go with some steel case, see how it does there. It works. <laughs> she ain't pretty. She don't feel good, but it works. All right, still case demo. Let's see how this one does. We got life back again. I'm impressed. So here's my grouping. That was the first shot that made my adjustment and then made another adjustment and did my three shot grouping. And I gotta say, that's not bad at all. That could be a lot worse. All right, we're out at a hundred. I forgot a bipod. So I figured this Texas toast will do. It's actually kind of fitting for this. All right, a hundred yards. Let's see if we can't hit it one time first. Okay, let's see if we can hit it two times. <laughs> I talked so much trash about this. Oh my goodness, three for three. There's no way.
This is still case ammo too. Like, this isn't even good ammo. Which maybe this functions better with this. I got a little carried away. I'm surprised. It's getting late, but I'm pretty impressed with this so far. So I came out here to the 200, 300 yard range. So we're at 200 yards right now. We're using our Texas Toast bipod, but let's see if we can't hit here. Get a couple in a row. All right, so three in a row at 200. Let's go back to 300 and see what we can do. There it is. Okay, there we go. We got two hits out of quite a few rounds. <laughs> We shot a lot, but two hits. Let's see if we can't get a consistent second hit here. Okay, I'd really like to get two in a row. Gosh damn it. Okay, let's see if we can get two in a row here. Okay, two in a row. Let's see if we can get three in a row. That's what I'm, that's what I'm wanting is a little consistency. Because, I mean, anybody can get lucky once. But if you can hit it two, three times in a row, that makes me a lot happier. Ah. All right, I will admit it. Uh, I'm pretty surprised with how this performed during the testing. So we shot about 200 rounds through it and uh, zero malfunctions. I was expecting a lot more malfunctions, issues, and some accuracy problems. Now we did see some accuracy issues when you got up there to the 300 yard mark, but from 200 down, it was fairly consistent. Once we got to 300, I edited out a lot of the shots that I did. I think I did like three magazines. Uh, so I did shoot quite a bit of rounds there at the 300 yard mark, but we got like, I think seven hits. We got definitely less than 10 hits. I think it was seven hits. So seven hits at 300. Um, is not phenomenal, but it is better than I was expecting. I didn't even expect it to honestly hit a 300. So um, I would like to do more testing with this, honestly. I wanna do more. So this was just a quick test to see if the gun even functioned, if it was in a viable option. Um, and we'll go over if it's something I even recommend here in a second, but let's go over the breakdown of the gun because I know that's what you guys would like to hear. So this is a Bear Creek Arsenal Upper. I wanted to find the absolute cheapest gun I could find. Now I was looking at building, maybe finding all the pieces and putting it together myself, uh, but I found this upper for cheaper than what I could do that for. Uh, a lot of people were telling me to go to PSA, but PSA actually wasn't as cheap as this was. So this was $180 on sale. That was with the bolt carrier and everything. So this is a side charging rifle here, uh, but that came complete muzzle device and all. Then I went and uh, was looking for a lower. My thought was get a stripped Anderson or stripped PSA and then buy some cheap components until a viewer of mine sent me a link to this plum crazy lower, which is $60 for everything, which is insane. That is a crazy price for a complete lower. But once I got it, I quickly realized why it was so cheap. Um, the Buffer tube is polymer. The All the trigger components inside of here are polymer. I'll show you some B-roll of this, which is, is kind of weird. When you break it open, you look at that and see all polymer. Your takedown pins are polymer. Lockup's actually really, really good. It's, it's molded together pretty well. So I was very surprised with that. Um, didn't have any reliability issues, didn't have any malfunctions or weird issues with the polymer. Now I will say with this being uh, polymer and some other parts, I do see issues with durability if I was actually to use this a little harder. So let me know if you guys would like to see me do a light durability. So I'm not gonna yeet this against a tree, but like simple things. I'm just curious to see where the breaking point is on this, or maybe we just do stuff until it breaks. I don't know, you let me know what you'd like to see. But I quickly realized why it was so cheap, but it functioned, it worked. So I can't really say too much bad about it uh, in that sense, other than it's just made with cheap components. So that's the gun. I just slapped those two together and a total of $240 and I was uh, 
Tickled to death, honestly. <laughs> I was so excited to build this. Then I had this uh, SCRS from Hollow Sun, so I wanted to test that as well. So I threw that on there. Got a Streamlight. Uh, it's a sweet little light just because it has no tape switch or anything. And you're able just to articulate it like that with a button. You can also get a tape switch on there if you would like. And then the Strike Industries angle foregrip with the Drew Meyer design real cover so very simple setup so my thoughts and is it something i recommend uh no i don't recommend this i don't recommend buying a gun for 240 dollars and using it in a purpose-driven role if you are just buying this for the range and you're like i just want a gun to plank around with and build out and have fun with go to town who cares like it's not gonna like be in a position to potentially save your life or somebody else's, I don't think it really matters. But if you're putting this as like a patrol rifle or home defense, you're like, this is my first gun and I really want to use this for anything. It's going to be like an all around gun. I don't recommend this. I would rather see you take that $240 and save it and put it towards a more expensive gun that, um, it's hard for me to say this because it performed well. I mean, it, it did what it was supposed to do. It shot every time I pulled the trigger and it, and it shot decently accurate, but a gun that's made with better components because yes, it worked just fine in a flat range laying there shooting 200 rounds. But when you actually use this, is the polymer gonna hold up? That's something I'd like to find out in a further video, but it's not the thing that I recommend for that position. It's going to last a lot less than your other guns back here, your traditional style with a more higher made quality parts. So uh, does it work for now? Absolutely, it worked farther and more than I expected. Uh, but it's not something that I think that you guys should buy. And that's why I want to test it because uh, I can't really give you a super honest opinion if I've never actually used it. Um, now that I've used it and I've, I've felt it and I've, I've seen the parts, um, not something I recommend, but it did work. So as you can see from the video, but we'll, we'll do further testing. There's gonna be more videos with this. So stay tuned with this gun. But other than that guys, I hope this video is able to help you make a better purchase decision or decide if you wanna buy a, a Paul Polymer Lower Plum Crazy or whatever you would like to do. We're gonna help with the channel. The things I do here is come discount codes in my description that you can use to save some money. And there is a link to my link tree. Anything you purchase using those links, that's how about the channel a ton. I do appreciate that. You guys have been honestly killing the uh, links. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. So super big support to the channel. And it helps me do a lot of this stuff because I bought this gun with my own money. It's only $200 because it was fairly cheap, but it's $240 on top of the other projects that I'm working on and all the optics and accessories you got to buy for and the ammo to go through it. So uh, the support helps me a ton. Uh, Patreon, if you guys are interested in joining that or members here on YouTube, I'm doing giveaways all the time. Just gave away a custom plate carrier, giving away a flashlight here, and then uh, going to be doing like EOTex, uppers. Uh, maybe I'll give away this gun. I don't know. But if you guys are interested in doing that, you have to join the Patreon and memberships and you get uh, access to be eligible for all these giveaways that I'm doing. Uh, other than that, a couple of companies support me on the things I do here. Brownells, Hold Up Display, and Howitzer. Brownells, use code TA10 to save 10% off orders of $150 or more. Hold Up Display makes racks behind me, and Howitzer is a clothing brand that donates 5% of proceeds to charity, and I absolutely love their clothing. Other than that, guys, thank you so much, and I appreciate you all.